Instagram ladies are going okay, camera back another little hair vendor update. And last I left y'all, I told y'all I was going to look for another vendor. And my last interaction with them kind of solidified it. So I remember I told y'all, you know, my girl Constance was like, oh, well, you know, I really didn't like look at it. But briefly, and it does, the water does look a little crazy. Now, mind you, I was like, I apologize. Y'all have heard me say on my channel here if I'm wrong. We're all human. I will apologize if I'm wrong. And I apologized to them. And, I, and they were like, you know, well, we understand that there are other companies out there that do this. We're not one of them. Trust us. We've been doing this for a really long time. You know, I hope that, you know, we gained our trust. And then after she confirmed it, because the same way I will apologize if I'm wrong, I'm going to call you out if you're wrong. So... I was like, you know what? My friend said that she really didn't look at it properly and then she just looked at it. Now look at this hair, y'all. Not the closure, because the closure from a different hair company. I just was in the rain, if y'all can see the little water drops on my shirt. The hair looks really good, colors really well. Like, look at this. The problem that I have, again, is with the inconsistency. Like, why is it that I have to tell y'all that it's not raw? And they kept insisting going back and forth. Oh, try to dye it, ma'am. You know, you know, some people use like neutralizing shampoo and other things that like strip the hair, and that's why they get this reaction. Say what now? Um, neutralizing shampoo should not come out any color unless there's a color on the hair. Like, like let's be real. So they came back to me and they were like, Well, you know. Um, we've been doing this hair business for a really long time. I'm really trying to find the email, but I done broke a phone, broke an iPad within the two month period. So everything is like all over the place. Like, and I say, I really want to read this verbatim to y'all, but, um, essentially y'all already know, I, I don't do the lying right on my channel. Essentially they were like, um, you know, well, maybe we go through hundreds of bundles a day. Not sure how much you go through. And I'm like. First of all, when we did our little chat, I showed y'all my whole collection because I needed to show you guys the texture of the hair that I was looking for. Uh, I showed y'all bundles. I showed y'all wigs. I said, I'm not no novice. And what you're not going to do is play in my face. I also said, I'm I'm a hair reviewer. I've been a content hair reviewer for the last six years here on my channel. So I really do know what I'm talking about. And again, you guys have seen me say like the minute I unbox some hair and I'm like, yo, something is not right. I say it and then the hair speaks for itself. I always let the hair speak for itself. That is my motto. Forget what I say. What is the evidence showing you? And the evidence showed you that when I washed this hair, pink suds came out, which indicates there was a chemical reaction. In addition to that, the water was brown. Like stop playing in my face and not like a murky brown, like it's dirty, like a brown, like it's a color that's washing off. So I'm like, please don't do that. I subtly checked them. And they told them to have a blessed day. And like, we don't need to go back and forth because clearly we're not going to agree. They came back, <laughs> said what they had to say, uh, insulted that I knew what I was talking about. And I always praise them for their initial reaction because initially they were like, oh, well, you know, the short strands, we apologize. We'll do better next time. We'll give you this, you know, this discount to try to earn your business. And I was appreciative of that because it's very different from what I've gotten in the past when I said, hey, you know, this isn't what it is. Now, where y'all got me at is that I can't do the inconsistency. Not when you're launching a business, not when you're launching a brand. They were like, well, we don't know what the person did to their hair before it got to us. I was like, what? I was willing, like, and they said first, let me, let me backtrack, I'm all over the place in my emotions. First of all, they were like, we don't want to deal with business with somebody that don't trust us. And I'm glad we're on the same page with that because I don't want to deal with business with y'all if y'all can't be accountable. If you are dealing with bundles in the manner in which you said you were dealing with bundles, you're supposed to be able to look at hair the same way I looked at it and said, something ain't right. Now, let's just say for argument's sake, right? Let's just backtrack because I like to be objective, right? Let's just say for argument's sake, just like you said, we don't know what someone did with their hair before. You also said that, oh, we've been dealing with hair for the more than 10 years. You know, the hair is not dyed, we can assure you. So you should be able to tell if it's dyed just by looking at it. You shouldn't... Try to bring it down because I'll be getting I'll be getting tight when I feel like people insult my intelligence. Like I'm not stupid. If you've been dealing with hair for a really long time, you could just look at it and say something ain't right. I don't care who you are. If you want to try to get over on somebody, then that's on you. That's your own personal conscience. You're gonna have to deal with what you gotta deal with karma when you gotta deal with it. But 
if you are sitting up here saying you don't know what someone has done to the hair before it got to you, that means you're aware that sometimes you get hair and it's been dyed. Now, let's just say one person did that, right? We are talking about single donor bundles. Single donor, which means they came from three different people. So you're trying to tell me that three different people did the same thing to their hair? And I said, one, you can't explain to me what, what came off of the water, right? Two, you also can't explain to me why this hair is darker than hair that I've dyed, which is why like in that video, y'all need to go back and check that vlog. It might at this point be like the latest vlog that I posted. <laughs> why is it darker than hair that I've dyed? So we are on a journey to finding another hair vendor. I've already reached out to a couple other vendors trying to see what we can do. If they will have me, I'm still willing to do business with them with their virgin hair to an extent. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Um, because at least I know, hey, this is what I'm paying and this is what I'm getting. But when you sitting up here telling me, oh, you, <laughs> you don't know what they did to their hair and, you know, we don't process it. That means you're aware that the hair is processed sometimes when it gets to you and you knowingly send it out. Like, what kind of, what kind, what kind of mess is that? Why would you do that to somebody? I really wish I had this email, but like they even came back a few more times. Like, I'm like. If you don't want to deal business with me and I don't want to deal business with you because I can't trust you, why are you working overtime and try to prove to me that you're telling the truth? That's the other thing that I wanted to say. I now know why, and I might make this a little reel or a little clip or a little TikTok, but I know now, I now know why. <laughs> Y'all know how I'm saying this. I now know why your favorite hair companies, the one that claim that they're selling raw hair, will defend their vendor the minute you tell them something is not what it is. Because look at the backlash I'm getting. You don't want to miss out on potentially getting majority good for one bad bundle or two. So you'll eat it. You'll Not you'll eat it. You'll make the consumer eat it. Well, we're not doing that over here, baby. Um, we are going to find another vendor. Um, you know, everything is going to work out. Everything happens for a reason. Speaking of which, um, I am selling those bundles. I don't believe, and I've said this from the very beginning, I don't believe that... Um, the hair is not Indian hair. Hands down, the hair is in the hair. The hair is soft. Um, I'm selling those three bundles for 275 for all three, which is a steal. 222 inches, 120 inch. You're probably going to have to trim it. It's with nature of the beast. But this is the quality of the hair. You can see the quality of the hair, but I just believe that it's been dyed black. And I can't offer hair that I'm going to be telling you guys is raw and know that it's dyed. I just, I can't, on my conscience, I can't do that. Because again, We've been down this road with me. I know what it is to get hair, and it's not what people say it is. It's not the quality. I believe the quality is there, but I just believe that the hair has been dyed. Other thing I want to touch base on, because I've filmed this video done like two or three times already. Um, the reason I had to refilm it is because that last interaction was um, happened after I already filmed it. I'm like, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, <laughs> ain't no way. Um, Y'all think that this is okay and I'm not going to talk about it. I really wanted to read it off to you guys for reading, but like I said, a lot of things with my devices right now. Uh, based on feedback, I am going to offer a return policy. It's going to be three days from when you receive the hair. You um, reach out to me, let me know. Um, obviously, you're not going to get refunded for shipping because it's already gotten to you if you decide that you know it's not something that works out for you. And I'm still trying to figure out like if I'm going to do a website, what I'm going to do in terms of like forms of payment. So... A few things up in the air but I just want to make sure that I put that out there for you guys that I will do a return policy it's just it's not gonna be no store credit I'm not gonna force you to keep your money with me if you're not happy with what you get unused within three days you can send it back and not like I gotta receive it in three days it has to be postmarked in three days because I hate when companies do that nonsense um we're not a hair company by the way we, we we just sell in bundles but i figured out what's happening with you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe share um a lot of the updates are going to be in my vlog so make sure you guys are watching those vlogs because i do put a lot of information there follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram you know support your girl because i'm really out here fighting for y'all but that's this video thanks for watching bye for now